Hi, so this is uh, video five, which is paint time. Now, a lot is said about painting MDF and there's a lot of myths about warp and damage and other issues to do with how things go together. Now, I'm gonna simply paint these things directly with paint, some with lots of water, some with not. So, because there's different colors and you can see there's some different panels arrived. These are the backyard walls, interior sides, doors, etc. And also you note that I've actually sealed up one of the windows because that will be where the back coal hole will go. And so I blocked off the window. Simply done. Got a piece of MDF. I've gently chamfered the edges once it's fit to size fitted it in flat to a surface and then I've just used a bit of super glue around the edge and I'm not worried about anything proud there because of course the coal hole is going to cover it. If I were I would just sand it over very gently. I'm going to just slap a bit of black on. It's a model acrylic. I'm going to take the front, front walkway pathway. Now what's I said this isn't priming, this is actually my base colour. I have added a little bit of water to this one to just get a bit of flow. It's pretty much solid colour. I've not added any more water at that time. And you can see it's just being slapped on. And that's your base colour for what will be grey paving slabs. So that's model acrylic. While I'm at it, I'm going to do the coal hole roof, which again is going to be slate. See how much water is in that paint? Just makes it flow. It's a pigment rinch paint. The paint will not disappear. You can see no detail loss. You can see the shine there and all the etching there. Yeah. They're going at the back. Two roof panels. You can see my hands are now getting filthy. Doesn't really matter. Again, paint's just going straight on solid. There's no way, as you can see, the details there. Some of these videos you'll be pleased to know I'm going to go quiet. Just getting things done. There you go. Smuts from the paint. You can see the ridge tile there. I'm still painting that black, even though I will probably paint it terracotta in the end. There's quite a lot of ridge on slate buildings is terracotta. At this stage I'm not going to worry about the tags from the roof panels and the side panels because they will be caught at a later date just with a touch up. There you go. I pull that first panel through, you can see it's pretty dry, pretty flat. Not worried about the that, you can give it a touch over if you want. Same there, that's the backyard that was thick paint too. And there's the paving slabs. Okay, I'm now going to bash out a couple of other walls, colours, and then demonstrate artist acrylics straight onto a panel as the final paint. Well, as you can see, large amount of paint slapped on. Um, I've used a uh, red base for the 
terracotta type tiles and I'm doing dark brown base for the London brick. Uh, you can even see that the chimney pot one is still drying. Artist acrylic. This is pure artist acrylic. It's uh, very resinous so it's very heavy in pigment but it flows really well and it's straight onto the panels. There you go. See now I'm not going to lose any detail. All those bits and pieces that you can see below have been painted exactly the same as this. Very thick. There we go. Takes a little time to dry, but not as long as some paints. There you go. And that's the sealed door and window area. It's a great look for derelict buildings or factories if you seal up the windows. Quick daub in the paint. Always have a go at the edges, especially if they've had tags sanded. And there we go. All right. First mini vid done. I'm going to leave those to dry and then come back and start dry brushing and finish the build. Bye.